So this one's going to be on the uh, speed limit changes. A lot of people seem to think that uh, just because the car sees and recognizes the speeds and does indicate to you what the speed limit is, that it's going to change it automatically. But it does not. Um, so the camera up here, um, uh, up in the uh, above the rear view mirror, is uh, what's always watching the road. And it's looking at your lane markings and it is looking at speed limit signs. And right now we're actually about to pass another 45 mile an hour speed limit sign. But we've already passed one, so you can see it on the dashboard that this is, uh, we are currently in a 45 mile an hour speed limit zone. And I've got mine set so that there's a 5 mile an hour offset, so it'll always show me uh, five miles an hour above the, the posted speed limit uh, before it'll bong at me and let me know. But when we come up to a speed change, it's going to change the indicator here. And if it goes down, it will bong at me to let me know that I'm above my rated speed that's on there, but it's not going to change my speed. So now we have a 35 mile an hour speed limit coming up uh, change right now. So on the right hand side, you can see the 35. And then when we actually pass it is when it changes. So now it says 35. Um, and we get the bong letting us know that it's there. But notice that we're still set at 50 miles an hour up here. So it didn't change the speed at all. I'm now going to manually bump my speed down to the 40. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get it to 40 there. Uh, to 40. So now I manually changed it back to my uh, speed. I can also pull and hold on the... Uh, the cruise control stock towards me and it'll go to my offset of the speed limit.